So hey there everyone, today I'll be talking about barching. So as you may all know, barch is very popular right now as a farming strategy. And it is very effective in collecting loot from collectors. And it is very commonly used. So most people usually spam their barbarians and archers around the base. However, I do not think that it is the most effective way in farming. And hence I have another method of using barch. So today I'll be talking about my method of barching. I'll be showing you guys a few replays and I'll be telling you guys how this works better than spamming your troops around the base. So let's get started straight away. I would name this attack strategy as burst barching as I put my barbarians and archers in a short burst every time. So now let's talk about the advantages of using this kind of barge, the burst barging. Burst barging allows you to control which structure do you want to take down and allows you to effectively control the use of your barbarians and archers. Depending on the hit points of the structure, I will deploy a certain amount of barbarians and archers to take it down. It will avoid you from using any barbarians or archers in one spot or in one corner. So this way, it can save your barbarians and archers in uh, attack and it can allow you to raid another base within a shorter time as you need less time to train up your barbarian and archers. It is also more effective as you can control which structure do you want to take down. Spamming your troops around the base and not sure what they will take out and ending up with some loot remaining in the collectors being not taken down by the barge. So now let's talk about the disadvantages of this attack. So the burst barging may result in a loss as you will only deploy your troops on which on structures which you want to take down for loot. However, usually when you farm with barge, you don't really go for the trophy, so that would not be a big deal for us. And overall, it is a very successful and effective way of barging for loot. Another disadvantage is that your barbarians will be very vulnerable to splash damage. But however, as you are mostly taking out only structures at the outside, it would not be a big matter as you will only take down what you need to take and you will leave with an awesome loot. And you don't need to worry about your trophies as you will gain it as you barge again. So as you can see in the replays, I usually save a few troops behind but sometimes I deploy it all in because I need that 50%. However, if you don't care about your trophy count, you can just leave with the loot and it is more effective for you when you don't really care about the trophy count as traditional barging will make you use all of your barbarians and archers, making it longer for you to attack again. So this wraps up for the video today. and. I would like to know your opinion on my first barging strategy. Last but not least, be sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. But other than that, stay tuned for more awesome Clash of Clans gameplay. See you all.